Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, my name is Riza and in this channel I share videos about my life as a software engineer in Japan. If you watched my previous video, you maybe know that I just started a new project in the last sprint and this week my team is going to continue building features for that project. As for today, I'm planning to allocate 20% of my time or maybe 30% of my time for code review and 70% for doing my own tasks. So some of my team members, they are working from another country from outside of Japan and that is why when they finish working or when they finish coding it's already around like 10 or 11 p.m. Tokyo time that's why these days in the morning when I open my laptop there's always like more than two or three pull requests or code review requests you know to check that's why I'm gonna start the day by doing code review and then I can move on to you know doing my own tasks so yeah let's start the day One of you guys asked me how to stay motivated to self-study. For me, I usually do self-study after my workout because that's when my brain feels fresh and I'm ready to learn new things. Also, I think choosing the right learning platform is important to stay motivated. Let me introduce you to a learning platform that I've been using since high school that is also a sponsor of this video, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in maths, data analysis, AI, and programming. Brilliant is designed with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concept, a method that is six times more effective than just listening to lecture videos. Plus, all the lessons are crafted by researchers and teachers from MIT, Microsoft, Google, and more. Brilliant will also help you build your critical thinking through problem solving, not memorizing, so while learning new topics, you'll also become a better thinker. Additionally, it'll make you develop a powerful daily learning habit. Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in minutes every day. You can access fun lessons anywhere, anytime you want. I've been using Brilliant to learn maths, programming, and data analysis. One of my favorite courses on the platform is Intro to Probability. This fun and interactive course helped me survive the Intro to Probability class that I had in college. If you want to try Brilliant for free for a full 30 days, or if you want to get a 20% discount on the annual premium subscription, please check the description box down below. Thank you. 
to have a stand-up meeting soon, but this is the only meeting that I'll have today. If there is no other ad hoc meetings, then after this I can focus on my tasks. But yeah, other than this, there is no other meetings. Hopefully. Hello, hi. Hey guys, so the code review took a bit longer than I thought and now I finally have some time to do my own tasks. The first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna create Python SQL bindings for my project. So if you're new to programming, there's this concept called ORM, Object Relational Mapping. Basically, it allows you to interact with your own database with the SQL database, for example, directly from your Python code. For this, I'm using SQL Alchemy to connect my Python code to the SQL database. It's actually not that hard, but it's a repetitive task you have to do. I guess you have to make a different data class for different tables. And then you have to be careful about the data type. And sometimes I need to check whether a column is nullable or not. So I'm just gonna do that for now. So let's start coding. Hi everyone, welcome to the Q&A corner where I will try my best to answer the questions that I got in my previous videos. So for today, I'm going to answer three questions. The first question is, do you think it's possible to do freelancing work in Japan for web development? The answer is yes. I know one person who is doing back-end and front-end, I guess full-stack development uh, job from Japan. He is doing it on a freelance basis. And I also know another guy who's doing a back-end engineer freelancing job from outside of Japan. So yeah, it's possible. But I think if you want to do it from Japan, you're going to have to deal with the visa requirement. I don't have a first-hand experience on freelancing here, so I don't really know about the details. But to answer your question, is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Second question, can you give me a suggestion on how can I find a Japan tech company that allows me to work remotely. Yes, my first suggestion would be to go on LinkedIn and then you can type a job title that you want. For example, data scientist, and then change the location to Tokyo. And usually, if not most of the time, they will put, the put it on the description, whether the company allows remote work, hybrid work, or full on-site work style. Okay, last question for today. Do we need a very strong DSA fundamental slash lead code in order to be a software engineer in Japan. For the job itself, I don't think I don't think you need lead code in a daily life. Like I've never been asked to reverse a linked list in my job. But for the interviews, yes, you'll need it. But if you ask me, do you need to be very good at it or not? It depends on what kind of companies you're applying. To. For example, if you're aiming for Google, Amazon, or Microsoft, usually their technical technical interviews are very rigorous. But if you're applying to like a smaller company or startups, the requirement is less strict in terms of this uh, strength in coding interview. So yeah, I think three questions is enough for today. And if you have any other questions, as usual, feel free to write them down on the comment section down below.
Hey guys, just got home. I had a really good dinner and I also took a walk for 20 minutes. So it was a really refreshing break time for me. So after this, I'm just going to read a book. I have this book with me. I've been reading this book called The Daily Stoic. It's really good if you need a book to read in the morning or to read before bed. I think I'll recommend this book. So yeah, after reading, I'm just gonna chill. So I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment on the comment section down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.